Today we're getting back into XAML with the third uh, dynamic flow layout uh, we're going to discuss, which is the dock panel. The first two, I think, were the stack panel and the wrap panel. And the dock panel is the quintessential uh, tag that makes it takes advantage of uh, the attached properties. And if you aren't familiar with attached properties, you might want to play my video uh, 284. And the attached property that doc panel uses is doc panel dot doc. And the main values for this uh, attached property are bottom, top, left, and right, which tell you where the control that's referencing the attached property should dock itself. If uh, you have dock panel dot dock equals bottom, the uh, element that has the attached property is going to try and attach itself to the bottom. And if it's top, it attaches itself to the top and so on and so forth. And the child order within the dock panel has an extreme effect because the children are going to try and take up all the space they can given what other children came before. In other words, if something's docked on the left and then you dock it on the top, it'll take all the dock a second uh, element on the top. It'll take all the space it can on the horizontal up to where the, the child already docked on the left is which I think it'll become a lot clearer when we actually look at an example. Here's a dock panel that has uh, six children. And the first child docked was uh, the uh, color bar at the bottom. And that's this uh, stack panel where we have dock uh, panel dot dock equals bottom. And they have background color of dark blue and a margin of four. And then we have a text block within that that has a height of 30. And because it's the first child docked, it can take all the horizontal space. If we docked this first, it could have only gone up to this point in terms of the horizontal space. But since it's the first, it takes all of that. And then the second child docked is the same way in that it's at the top. So there's nothing blocking it, so it can take all the horizontal space. And then the third child docked, we start to see the effect of the child order. And that this is at dock panel dot dock equal left. So we dock it on the left. And it would take all the horizontal space if it had been the, uh, or all the vertical space if it had been the first child. But because there's these other two children before it, it can only take this amount of the vertical space because these other two are blocking it. And then I have a second uh, dock panel dot dock on the left to show that you can have multiple uh, children docked in the same uh, place. And it docks itself on the left next to the third child. And once again, can only take this amount of vertical space because of these other two docked first. And then we have the uh, fifth child, which is docked uh, on top as well. So it's the second one docked on top. But because of the other children that have been docked, it can only take up this amount of the horizontal space. So once again, it's the child order is forcing the child to take less and less space because other children have already grabbed the space. And then finally, you notice in the dock panel we have last child fill equals true. And that basically means the last child we create will take up all the remaining space. So the last child we have is just a text block. It's not, a, not surrounded by a stack panel. And it has a background of olive and a foreground of white and a margin of four. And then between the tags, we have last child dash remaining space. So that's what gets displayed. 
and as you can see it takes all the remaining space in the box and if we compile and run this we see the usual characteristics of if we stretch it out everything expands it can expand uh, vertically or horizontally so it's extremely useful you see with the doc panel you can start to see an actual creation of an application where you have different sections of the applications that serve different functions I think the doc panel you really start to see you can use WPF as a programming language on a practical level well I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe